First reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 9, verses 26 to 31. When Saul arrived in Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, but they were all afraid of him, not believing that he was a disciple. Then Barnabas took charge of him and brought him to the apostles, and he reported to them how he had seen the Lord and that he had spoken to him and how in Damascus he had spoken out boldly in the name of Jesus. He moved about freely with them in Jerusalem, and spoke out boldly in the name of the Lord. He also spoke and debated with the Hellenists, but they tried to kill him. And when the brothers learned of this, they took him down to Caesarea, and sent him on his way to Tarsus. The church throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria was at peace. It was being built up and walked in the fear of the Lord, and with the consolation of the Holy Spirit, it grew in numbers. The Word of the Lord Second Reading A reading from the first letter of John, chapter 3, verse 18 to 24. Children, let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Now this is how we shall know that we belong to the truth and reassure our hearts before him in whatever our hearts condemn. For God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence in God and receive from him whatever we ask because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. And his commandment is this. We should believe in the name of His Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as He commanded us. Those who keep His commandments remain in Him, and He in them. And the way we know that He remains in us is from the Spirit He gave us. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to His disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire, and they will be burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters and my dear children, Jesus says, I am the vine and we are the branches. And Jesus himself assures that his father is the gardener who cuts away the branches that does not bear that do not bear fruits but at the same time his father prunes the branches 
that bear fruit. What does that mean? Here Jesus means that we need to get attached to him. We are attached to Jesus Christ. How? We are attached to his life, his word, his spirit. Well, by our baptism, we know that we are Christians, which means we belong to Christ. Well, by our baptism, we have the advantage of that nourishment. And what is this nourishment? When we are related to Christ, our vigor, our fruitfulness, all that comes from Jesus Christ. How we are attached, such is the nourishment we receive. If we are not attached to him inwardly, then we cannot, we cannot receive the nutrients. Being baptized is not enough. But we have to cultivate a relationship with Jesus Christ. How? How are we to receive these spiritual nutrients, the spiritual nourishment that bears much fruits in one's life or in our lives? By our prayer, by our prayer, by being of service to others, and by doing the things that Jesus Christ taught us to do. Because we need a good, a quality relationship with Jesus Christ. Not just closeness only, but effectively be close to Jesus Christ, dear brothers and sisters. It's only then that we could receive the fruitfulness of our lives. When we are so attached to Jesus Christ at every moment, by our words, by our actions, through our prayer, then we could see the quality of our Christian lives. And God is there to prune us, since we are the branches of the main body wine. And He will always, He will give us the Spirit of the Lord that could strengthen us and we will bear much more fruits. Thank you and God bless you.